God, what is your perspective on every moment of my life, every relationship, every decision, every circumstance, and how can I enter into it to glorify you? Oh my goodness, guys, these are the words from Pastor Drew Sams from the Bel Air Church that I'm so in love with. I've made them the foundation of my life. Just asking God in every moment, how can I enter into every moment to please him? And that's where I want us, just in every moment going to God, what would make you happy here? Because this is how he guides our lives. I'm telling you, on the best path. What God is doing for me in my life is beyond anything I could have ever dreamt up on my own. He exceeds my expectations. And even in the difficult times, I know I can hold on to him. And I know he's there to give me the solutions, give me his direction, give me his guidance. And let me tell you, God is pretty talkative. Yesterday, I was waiting for a video to the YouTube video to upload. And I said, let me just see what God has to say to me in one of my old videos. And it was just some words from David Goggins. I said, if you have something too difficult to do, get it done. Don't waste time. And so that's, that was a direct message to me because your girl here loves to procrastinate. And I have an important deadline that I'm working towards. And it was just God saying, Nick, stop wasting time. Let's get this thing done. Let's get this difficult thing done. And just know that he is there in the background of my life, helping me, nudging me along the right path, not to procrastinate and waste time. You know, just give me such peace, knowing I don't handle this situation alone. And then he gives me such a great perspective. He said, there's nothing that can come your way that you and I can't handle together. And then the situation that I'm working on is just, I am supporting my husband. I consider myself his VP. So once in a while, the VP has to do some work, but I'm not complaining because again, God said, you get to do this. You get to be the wife of this badass husband that I have, and you get to support him, you know? And he just blows me away with his courage and his bravery and the things that he takes on. And I get to follow him and I get to live this beautiful life with him and our four beautiful kids. Even just every moment of my life, it's just becoming so beautiful with God because he's teaching me all the things that he would have me to learn, like all these values of forgiveness and patience and overlooking and ignoring and just being brave and courageous and taking on life, you know? So I want everyone in the whole entire world with me, rolling with God. His invisible presence is always with us. There's never a moment that he leaves us. He will never leave us, never forsake us. But the thing is, we go wrong, we compare God's love to human's love. And let me tell you guys, there's no comparison. God's love is unbelievable. Our sins, our transgressions. He holds as far as the east is from the west, guys. And that's the love that I, I feel for him, that even last year that I consider my year, which 10,000 falls, he is right there to help pick me back up and get me on the right track again. And all those falls have brought me so much closer to him. So I just want you guys in every moment, no matter what's going on, just know you have God there with you. Start paying attention to those feelings in you, those nudges, those cues from him. Yesterday, just asking him, what of these YouTube videos you want me to watch? And he ran specifically right of that one over like 300 videos. And it's just his way of saying, Nick, come on, let's go, you know? And even he corrects me. When I'm wrong, when I'm going on the wrong path, he said, no, 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 no. And he drives me back in on the right path again. And so guys, don't miss out on the best relationship ever with God, the creator of the universe. He's not mad at you. He's madly in love with each one of us. I'm just a God nerd over here that pays attention to report back to you and tell you, don't miss out. Start listening to him. Start seeking him, have those appointments with him every day, asking him, God, what do you have to say to me? And let me tell you, we can't even dream of the things that God has planned for us, even before we were even born. So don't miss out, guys. The best life is like this, asking God, what is your perspective on every moment of my life, every relationship, every decision, and every circumstance, and how can I enter into it to glorify you. Peace.